What's up, Develop fam? How y'all doing? I uh, hope everything going well. Um, I heard everybody back to training again, which is good. Uh, I am as well. I'm down here still in Argentina, actually. Um, just just start training again and uh, just waiting for things to clear up. Um, if I wish I could be there with you guys, but obviously I can't, being that I'm a U.S. citizen. And that's what a virus is the worst. So I actually decided to stay here, and I've been training here every day. So I uh, came up with a plan to make a video for you guys, something that I've been doing. Um, I do this once a week. It's like a test. It's about anywhere between 150, 200 shots. You can do it with a partner, a uh, teammate, or whatever in training and practice. So I talked to Johnny, uh, Coach Kara, Coach Dan. I talked to them, and we thought it would be a good idea for me to make a video for you guys. So. In the next clips, I'm going to be showing you what's going on um, and the easy way to get up shots every week, recording the stats and trying to get better at it every week. Okay, so let's start. To warm up, we're going to have a shooter and a passer. Okay, shooter's going to start at half court. You're going to run in around the mid-range area, take the shot. You want to get up to 20 makes. After you take your shot, each shot, you're going to run back and touch the half court line. Okay, first you're going to do spot shooting. So you got five spots, five shots at each spot for a total of 25 shots. After you finish those 25 shots, you want to record how many you made total. So I didn't explain earlier, but the warm-up does not count for the shot tally that you're going to keep. You're going to have a total of 115 shots when it's all over. So excluding the warm-up, after spot shooting, you'll have 25 shots total, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you got the corner, the 45, the opposite 45, and the corner. You're going to have five shots at each, which will be a total of 20 shots this time. At the end, you'll have a total of 45 shots with this and the first drill. Now... This time, you want to catch the ball at the three-point line and make a move off the dribble. One or two dribbles max, keeping your tally again and see how many you can make total after you get done with this station. After the second drill, you move on to the third. You're going to have three shots at each spot this time, five spots again. And it's all going to be floaters. Catching the ball at the three-point line, one, two dribble, attack the rim, and a floater. Okay? 15 shots. This will give you a total of 60 when you're done from the first three drills. Moving on to the fourth drill. You're going to put two chairs or two backpacks, two objects, whatever, at it, both elbows uh, on the free throw line. And you're going to shoot a total of 20 shots. So after this drill, you have a total of 80. Again, you want to keep counting how you, many you made at each spot. Now, uh, all you're doing is alternating curls. You're going to curl around one chair, run down, curl around the other chair until you get the total of 20 shots. After this, again, you will have 80 shots to Okay, for the fifth drill, um, you're going to have 20 more shots. You're going to start in the paint. You're going to run out to the corner and take a shot. And you're going to run back into the paint, run out to the corner, take a shot. You're going to do this from both corners, 10 shots going to both corners, both directions. After this, you'll have a total of 100 shots. Okay, last drill you're going to do is you're just going to take 15 free throws. Um, that'll get you to a total of 115. Like I said, after everything you do, you want to record your totals and see how many you can get. Um, how many shots you can make total from each spot. Um, add it all together to see how many you get at the end. Okay, so I hope the video isn't too long. Uh, try to do this once a week once a week, um, once a week, trying to improve every single week. Um, don't compete against each other. 
Compete against yourself. As Coach Dan once told me in college uh, when I was playing for the Dinos, compete against yourself. Uh, just try to get better and improve your numbers every single week, every single week. And, um, you know, these are game-type shots that you're going to see in the game all the time from plays that you're running. Everybody goes to the free throw line. They're all game-like shots. And you just want to try to improve every week, like I said. Um, this is something that the Argentinian national team does down here. Um, it's not a punishment if you don't do well or anything like that. Um, just trying to see, you know, how good of a shooter you can become with these different type of shots and, of course, trying to improve on them all the time. Um, everybody, I hope everything is well. If you need to contact me, um, everybody should know my Instagram or my phone number or email. If you don't, ask Coach Johnny or Coach Dan or Coach Kara. They know um, Ben Scoop is my Instagram Facebook, if you ever want to talk, chat, anything, let me know. I'm always open to talk to you guys, and I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, and use this time to uh, enjoy the time with your family um, and find the positives in it to, to build on yourself and become a better person and a better player. And, you know, once this thing's over, we'll be able to get, get out and play again and play teams again. I'll be back to coach you guys again, and I'm super excited and ready for that. And I hope that everybody just, you know, find, like I said, find a way to build yourself up during this time. Okay, y'all. Take care.